Let me make this very passionate appeal to all our esteemed viewers and subscribers. BVI Channel 1 needs an urgent bus for our mobility. This car is no longer serving. And this year, we need to cover a lot. And we need effective mobility, just like this bus, a Siena bus car. We are looking at between 3 to 4 million naira to secure this bus. And we depend on your contribution and donation. Please donate through the account you're seeing on the screen or you call the following numbers that is also on display. 0810-4545-533 or you call 0810-420-7522. We look forward for your donation to help us serve you better. Yeah, hello wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, just a very quick one. Today, I was disappointed by INEC. And before the end of this video, you'll understand how and what I mean when I talk about the disappointment I got from INEC today. You know, um, this platform, we believe in um, good governance. And good governance is determined by political decision. And those who are political deciders, those in public offices, whom we have lamented long enough that they are filled with corruption and impunity. So we put our actions to our word to ensure good governance. This good governance we're talking about beginning from my homeland, the Igbo land, particularly Anambra State. This year, 2021, is an election year. And we want to make sure that, one, the votes of an Umbrellians count. Two, that INEC is ready to do the needful. Then three, we the people will ensure that the person we voted for will emerge. So, we had a mission. We want to first of all know the number of people that are registered voters in Anambra State. And... Also, measure it with voter apathy we've been getting all these years. Then in approaching INEC, we went through the security, getting into the complex, although quite scanty. I, you know, entered the first office, someone was there, and they directed us to the right office whom we are about to meet, the operations. The man we met there, really disappointed me in a positive way because our expectation is that nonchalant attitude towards work and perhaps not being even at the office to attend to his duty but getting there engaging him he you know he gave us this very conversation which he never knew i recorded now listen to it we represent political movement in Anambra State, People Restoration Movement Mission. is a registered non uh, is a non partisan in the state. So what we are looking at is to ask for the statistics of registered voters in Anambra State. Local government by local government. Just the numbers. We are working on it. So I can it. We are using it for political education. Sorry? We are using it for political education. We are using it for political education as a stylist. Whatever you want. These are public documents. You can always ask and you're given. There's nothing, uh, how do I put it? There's nothing secret about them. I know, yeah. Uh, they're only secret to the extent where if you come and you talk to me, I just open and I look around, look around, I write and give you. It doesn't follow. Anything you need, I advise you. Make it uh, official. Official. That way, you you slowly become one of our stakeholders. Mm. So uh, I will advise you to articulate what you need. Okay. Just a quick letter. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if if you have a letter heading and probably an address, maybe yes. we have. We have. We've written your uh, uh, doctor Upachu. Oh, fine. If you have when. 
Okay, now, 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 not on this issue. Not on this issue. We want to see him. Audience. Okay. He will he will grant it. He will grant it. The the men guys they 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 kept us waiting. I tried. When, when was that? That was before the COVID-19. Ah, it's a long time now. I know, it's a long My time. My commissioner is, is a young man. He's somebody, he doesn't have protocol. No, we've seen him before. Yes. Under our mood on do. Yes. And the leader yes. of mood on do in Anambra. Right. So, so he's, he's, a, he's a man who doesn't, you know. Mm. We if, you, if you still want to see him, I know he's around. Mm. Though he's on local government visits, present. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, so if you put him in a letter now, maybe give him a date for next week. You can be sure he will see you. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Please, please. that letter. If we'll, we'll do it. We'll drop the two we'll letters. Do it. We'll do it. You can just refer to the videos or, or attach it. We'll you attach it. With another. But in this one too, I will advise you, you make it official. Okay. So do that I can I address can to address every correspondence to the resident commissioner. Okay. Whenever he's not there, the admin secretary will call him and then agree. Once he means it to me, I prepare it, call the number, whatever number that is there, your case stop is ready and you pick it up. Okay. So if you're able to submit such a letter before the end of the day or tomorrow morning, well, he closes from the local government or he comes back, does a few things and then go. I show you before the end of the week you get it. Oh, well, I appreciate it. Well, for me, it's not a difficult I just go into the system, meet up with the house, arrange them the way you want. Yes. No, at least if you are <laughs> having seen you, I think you there's, there's nothing I'm the same you spirit with some of us. Okay. Okay. No, okay. Been a bank, a bank for many years. But, you know, our interest is to just get the society working. No, it's okay. Even if you have partisan interest, the important thing is that you're asking for information that's available. I, I understand what you're saying, but you understand Nigeria like, way. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> no, they make things difficult. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no this one, this one, this one, uh, Nigeria factor did not work here. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria factor did not work here. I believe there, there was there was a state that was previously, mm. and uh, some people needed information to go to the tribunal, mm. and I saw them walking along the corridor, and I was distracted. I said, what are you? What do you want? Who do you want to see? Say they want to see how they are able to get uh, what they want to use and go to the tribunal. Mm. What is it that you need to go to the tribunal? They said, Did you come with a letter? I said, No. I said, It's simple. Don't do a letter to the commissioner. Don't hide information. We want to go to the tribunal and we need this information. It's your right to ask. If we don't have, you have to have, you get the response from other. We don't have this. Mm. But the ones we have, the way you want it, we arrange it. We will get in touch with you if it is the one that requires, you know, public costing. We we'll cost it based on how, whatever it is, and let you know see the amount of money you pay to the account. So you get the receipt, and we we'll provide them for it. They were like, "Is it as easy as that?" <laughs> I told them it's as easy as that. They were still in doubt. I brought them into my office. I showed them the draft of what they are to go to. Go and type it and submit. Fortunately, the commissioner then was on seat. So they just came, went, typed the letter, brought the letter. They more minuted it to me. I called my staff, please put this together. We called them before even they, they were away, they got our call. Please come and let's look at the costing. Costed it, they said that's all. We told them that that's all. So before it was the end of the following day, they had all that they required. Mm. I mean, it's public. Uh, no, that's, what, that's the spirit of public uh, service. Well, that's and that is all we are, we're trying to project, not just um, uh, voter sensitization but also to, to restore the confidence yes, of the people towards INEC. That's just the most important thing that I want to do. In the process that we're very much alive, you know, when we came in here before the, uh, I came in before the last governorship election, there were too many stories, too many, you know, rumors, and, and we, we kept asking ourselves, is it not this our office that people are saying this about? But slowly, Slowly, we began to see that ah, these people are not what they. I don't know what the previous guys who were here did. Okay. And we are open and transparent about the whole thing, and the rest is history. So let's keep. It's no, a culture. So it's a culture that we have. No, to of course, of course. It's, it's not something that is going to happen. I want to something. Can, can we know when we are starting uh, registration for voters card? Um, I can only tell you that the commission has said. We will commence this quarter. They okay. told that to us. I am all, I'm also sure that uh, the meeting they had last week, Thursday, 
I'm sure they discussed it, you know, but not conclusively. Okay. I want to believe that the meeting they are going to have today and on Thursday, as at the commission, they should be able to let us. But I do know that we are going to do continuous voter registration massively. Massive. Very, very important. Yes. Yes. I am very important. I don't know why Okay. I think that that's that thing that's okay. No, because that's part of the things we want to discuss with you. No, you should. You should Present. also pick it up. He might give you fuller details. Maybe okay. before that time, before your date even comes, the thing is public knowledge, but it's still good yeah. that you follow up. All right. You know, it's important. It's, it's public office. All right. Please, All right. Thank anytime. you. That's what we do. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank yeah. you. Now, you your card. Uh, now judge for yourself. From what this man said, do you think that there is hope to get it right this time? If you think so, then join this team. Don't ever tell me that our vote doesn't count. Because your vote, if it doesn't count, they will never buy it. And don't tell me that they will impose somebody on you. That is when you allow it. Because I'm going to give you a direct an express demonstration of what is happening in my hometown, Oko, and use that to drive home. That if you keep quiet, men of questionable character will continue to occupy public space and things will continue to go wrong. My community is a direct and express example. Subsequent video I will be bringing to you will make it clearer. So, now that you've watched this video, now that you are on the same page with me for those of you who agree with me that we must fix our homeland beginning with deciding who occupies our government offices we want one million man march to force the government to sign into bill and to open grazing which is one of the biggest challenges we are facing none of them they are interested none of them is interested and the people are afraid that when they go out for 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 protest they will be killed now this one million man march for open grazing we are channeling it to the polling unit we are raising one million man votes or one million man voters or electorates that will bring into power men who have got to sign into law anti-open grazing bill if you are with me on that now let's hit the streak mobilize people join my radio program every monday 11 a.m to 12 p.m noon or 12 noon so be part of it be part of this revolution because there is no better way to do this that we all know prevention is better than cure i'm asking it peters i'm signing out if you agree with me share it drop your comment let me have your opinion i'm signing out stay safe